Hi guys! In this video I will guide you through wireless setup of HP and Y6120E. I will show you three connection methods including Wi-Fi Direct. I will show you how to connect your devices to the printer and how to print and scan using HP smart application. So let's get into it. I believe you already have the cartridges installed and the paper loaded to the printer and all that left to do is to connect it and start using. Make sure that your printer is powered on and the Wi-Fi indicator is blinking. If your printer was in use before somewhere else or Wi-Fi indicator is not blinking but just glowing, you may need to reset wireless network settings before setup. To do this, touch the menu button on the home screen. If the screen is sleeping, just touch somewhere to wake it up then touch menu button and swipe up until you see tools, tap on tools, then tap on maintenance and go to restore settings. Do not restore all factory defaults, you really don't need it now in this case, just reset network settings. So tap on restore, tap on yes, then press ok press home to go to the home screen and let's connect the printer. Once again touch the menu button, this time you need to scroll down and find settings, go to network and tap on Wi-Fi. The first method I want to show you is WPS or Wi-Fi protected connection. Uh, this is the easiest and fastest method, so uh, find Wi-Fi protected setup tap on start next to it and now select one of two options. The pin method is for the users who has a WPS button on their router. Uh, so you need to apply to your router's user manual, access the settings via web interface and enter the WPS pin. But if you have physical WPS button on your router, uh, the things get simpler for you. Just tap on push button select start and now take your Wi-Fi router, find the WPS button and press for three seconds. Now release the button and just be patient and wait. Now WPS connection in progress and it says not connected but just wait for it, just wait a couple of seconds connection successful. Uh, once it's done, tap on OK and you can continue on your computer or smartphone. If in some reason that didn't work, you can connect the router to your Wi-Fi manually, it's also very easy, so once again go to menu, swipe up, settings, network, Wi-Fi, and this time tap on start next to Wi-Fi setup. It's searching for Wi-Fi routers, now my rotor is found, I have two separated bands, 2.4 GHz band has wider range and 5 GHz band has a faster network speed. So let me connect to this one because the signal is excellent, uh, tap on next. In this field you need to enter your Wi-Fi password, so tap on this field and now you can see uh, on screen keyboard just like Android devices and enter your password. You can tap on this eye icon to see what you type in. Uh, tap on OK and submit. Now check your settings. Once again you can show password. OK and it's trying to connect to the network. And success. On this page you can scroll down and see your network parameters, your device name, host name, MAC address, IP address, you may need it to enter the printer's uh, settings from web interface. You can print report, but actually you don't need it. Just tap on OK and go to your home screen and continue on your device. And finally, let me show you how to set up Wi-Fi direct connection so that you will be able to connect your phone to the printer without connecting to a shared Wi-Fi network. Once again, go to menu, now find settings, network, and this time tap on Wi-Fi direct. Here is your Wi-Fi direct name, you can change it anytime if you need, but let's go back and tap on view details, 
swipe up and what you need is Wi-Fi direct password. This is all what you need to connect to the printer's network. So write it down or remember, and let's continue. Now to connect your smartphone or computer to the printer, you have two options. The first one is connect to the same Wi-Fi network that printer is connected to. My Wi-Fi, five gigahertz in my case. And the second option is connect to the printer directly. Just reconnect to this network enter password over here but i won't do this because when you connect it directly to the printer you don't have internet access and this is deal breaker for me i never use wi-fi uh, direct uh, but you can actually connect to the printer and start printing if you wish to scan you need to install hp smart application and by the way this is best practice for printing as well so i recommend you go to your respective application store and install hp smart this is single application for all operating system uh, either you use android or iphone or mac or windows you can install this application and you need no more actions to set up your printer this application will install all drivers and adjust uh, all settings in easy mode so uh, install it open accept the terms and conditions or decline optional data Now uh, set up a new printer, allow to find devices on local networks, this is necessary, and tap on already connected to network. Now your printer is instantly found, tap on its icon and voila, you are in the application and you can start using it. First let me show you how to print. Tap on print documents. And yes, one more thing, to use this application you have to log in to your HP account or create one if you don't have, but it's worth. Uh, the application is really smart, so create an account if you don't have, let me sign in to mine. Username, password, sign in. Allow full access to photo library if you wish to print photos from your smartphone, allow full access. Now, as you can see, you can connect cloud services to this application to print right from there or print from your file system. Let me do this. Let's select a file we wish to print, this one. Now you can swipe left and right to check your document. And once you decided to print it, tap on the printer's icon and swipe up to change print settings. Make sure your printer is set in this field. Uh, set your paper size, A4 in my case. I don't have to change anything. Set number of copies. Use this plus and minus button. Set the print quality. Normal is, is good for me. And set the page range. Do you wish to print all of them or just some of them? Deselect pages or use manual input. Let's say from one to page number two. Uh, let's go back, press the back arrow, uh, color options, color grayscale or black only, and two-sided printed. Uh, this printer can print on both sides automatically, so let's test this feature. Set short edge if you print in booklet, if you wish to fold A4 to double A5, for example, or select long edge uh, if you need to print on both sides of a big letter paper or A4 paper uh, like this and once you're done with your settings just tap on print and printer will do its job and right away pulling the paper back to print on the second side uh, that's it two-sided print good quality uh, let's continue now let me show you how to scan. So you need to scroll down and find printer scan tile. Tap on that. Skip this tutorial. I will show you everything in this video. Uh, now you need to place your document correctly in the scanning unit. So open the lid and notice the shaded corner over here. So you need to align the top left corner of your document with this shaded corner on the scanning surface and put your document facing down like this glide it to the edge to the border so align the document like this and close the lid next in the application adjust your scanning settings first step on this drop down at the top and set page size 
A4 in my case, or you can leave entire scan area and adjust the borders of your document later, or scan a few small documents on one page using entire scan area option. Let's go back, set the print uh, scan quality. Let's set to maximum for this example and switch between color and grayscale mode in this menu. Once you're done, tap on done. Next, at the top right uh, corner, you can see the gear icon, tap on that and you can enable auto enhancements to improve the color and contrast of your scans and enable auto orientation just in case you've put the document upside down, it will be turned correctly automatically. Tap on done. Uh, next, uh, select what you're scanning, photo, document or batch of photos and documents. We scan in document and in the source thumbnail you can switch to camera and combine camera scans and flatbed scans. Let's, let's skip this tutorial. So a camera scan is pretty good in this application. You can automatically convert your uh, photos into scans. And best of all, use the auto scan feature. So just tap on auto and the camera will automatically detect your document borders. And right after the first scan, you can replace this document and scan the second one. So in this way, you can scan a pack of documents in a minute. Now let's switch the source back to the printer. And we've already adjusted all the settings. So all we need to do is tap on scan and wait for the result. It's scanning pretty fast as for 300 dpi quality. Now the scanning is finished and the next screen is edges detection. Uh, to detect edges you can drag these dots, drag borders and corners to manually detect the edges of your page or uh, tap on auto but in this case it works bad. Also, you can tap on full to capture the full scanning area. Uh, tap on next once you're done. Uh, on this screen, you can check your pages. You can reorder pages. Tap on reorder over here. Just tap and hold and drag to reorder. Tap down once you're done. Also, you can rotate each page. Select a page you wish to rotate and just tap on this button at the bottom left. It's rotating. Save your changes by tapping done. Uh, also, you can tap on three dots in the top right corner of each page and tap on edit. You can crop your page, adjust brightness, saturation, contrast, clarity, exposure and so on. Uh, tap on done. Once you're done, you can add filters, add text, add mark markup, uh, enable auto en enhancement. You can see the difference right away. Uh, tap on done or cancel if you don't like your result. Uh, also in these three dots you can delete this page or replace it with another one. And of course you can add more pages to the document. To do this just tap on add. Uh, replace the page in the scanning unit. Or just turn the page if you have two sided a page and tap on scan. Wait for the result one more time. Once again, detect edges or just tap on full, hit next and it takes you to the same menu. Once you scanned all the pages you need, just tap on share or you can right away print this document over here or send facts. So let's save the document in this window. In this field, you can rename your document. Uh, here you need to set the file type. Uh, remember that PDF only supports multiple pages documents. Uh, set the file size. You can compress your file if it's too big. Medium compression, for example. And tap on continue. Uh, now you can save to HP Smart Cloud if you use this service. Uh, you can make some iPhone features over here or just save to files. Uh, now you need to just select your file location, let's save to documents. Once again, you can rename one more time this file and save. And that's pretty it. They have more different features in this application. Explore them by yourself. Explore settings. 
uh, explore the printer settings tap on its style to enter the printer settings menu uh, this app is really smart so install it on all devices where you wish to use this printer and uh, i think that's all for today now you know how to connect this printer to your wi-fi connect to your devices how to print how to scan uh, i hope this video was helpful if yes consider to subscribe to our channel hit the like button and be awesome bye guys